Hello and welcome back to the step-by-step -step HTML tutorial for beginner series. From this video, you are going to learn how to create a table for your HTML website step-by-step -step from the beginning. Throughout this video, we are going to learn about table tag itself. We are going to learn about what is a table row, what is table header, what is table data and how to put them into our tables. We are going to add a caption for the table which is available here and then we are going to do borders actually make borders for our table and finally we are going to work on border collapsing so that our table will look cleaner and professional one so without further ado let me explain few things before i start uh, writing the codes okay so here the first one as you can see is a table caption and the second line the full line itself is a row okay so we have got here as you can see the this is one line this is another line and the third one is another line so we have got three rows here and in between the rows we have entered table header and table data so as you can see here for the first row we have used table header for this reason these are bold and they actually works as our table header name gender country and profession and right into these cells as you can see our whole mail and the some other information whatever we have entered here are entered in the cells and they entered as table data so let me explain clearly by writing these codes and by showing you step by step so let's get into our code editor which is sublime text and as you can see i have got a table.html file now i'm going to take the html structure here and then in the title field i'm going to provide let's say html table and as we want to create a table we have to use table tag and table tag itself a semantic tag all right so we have to call it itself so let's hit enter or let's go into the middle here and then i'm going to put angle bracket and then let's type t a v l e just take a look we are seeing a suggestion here for table tag so let's click on it so that you'll have starting and the closing tag of table so we have to write all the things in between the table tag so we have to hit enter and then we'll have the space to start writing the codes so now to start writing or start putting our table headers at the very first stage we need a row so as you can see here in a row our headers are placed so let's put the table row here tr and then as you can see i'm seeing a uh, suggestion here so let's click on it so that we'll have the table row starting and the closing tag here now let's give another enter so that we'll be able to place our table headers in between the table row here. So let's go for it. I'm going to take the actually give the angle bracket then put TH and you are going to see the suggestion. Let's click on it so that we'll have the table header starting and the closing tag here. So let's start from here as a table header. I'm going to give the name here. Okay. So let's save this file. Now if I just open this file in a new browser or tab, just take a look, we have got one table header uh, appeared here. Okay. So I'm going to copy this thing and going to paste three more times so that we'll have these fields as it is here. So let's put gender, country and profession information here. So for the second table heading, we, we want gender. And then for the third one, we want, let's say country. And the fourth one we have got here, which is profession. Now let's save this document. If I go back to our previous file here, let's reload this one. We have got four headers to our table. All right. So we are not seeing these borders because we haven't yet provided any value for the border. So we are going to work on this after putting our contents. All right. So let's move back here. We are going to take another table row. So we have entered our headers in one row. Now we want to provide their values right after them in another row so that we have to create or take another table row right after the closing tag of the first row here. So let's go here. We are going to take TR and then select this one so that we'll have the starting and ending, ending tag of the table row. So let's hit enter. Now in between these table row starting and ending we are going to provide the table data information or the information whatever you want to provide in these uh, table cells so let's go for it we are going to put td so that means table data so let's select the tag so we'll have table data table data closed okay starting and close tag now as a name i'm going to provide my name acharul 
for the first table data or actually first table row here cells so let's save this one i mean to reload just take a look right after or actually right under name i am seeing my name here so this is for this table header i have got this table data okay in this cell so in this cell right after right after the gender cell okay i'm going to put my gender which is going to be let's copy this thing from here as we have to provide the same thing so let's type out here uh, male and then we want to provide our country and profession information so let's copy and paste these things two more times and in uh, country i'm going to provide bangladesh which is my home country and then i'm going to provide profession is freelancing all right so now if i just save this document by hitting ctrl plus s now let's reload this page we are going to see that under name i have got the value which is rafi under gender i'm I, i'm a male under country i have got my country name which is bangladesh and under profession i am a freelancer so i put uh, i have inserted here freelancing all right so now let's say you want to provide information for some more people so let's do this and to add more people's information we have to add more table rows okay so as each of these lines are table rows specifically so let's go for it we are going to take table row again and then hit enter so that we'll have the place to add table data all right so let's say i'm going to put tahmid here and i'm going to provide his gender so i'm going to copy and paste this information several times and his mail as well and he's from bangladesh so i'm going to put bangladesh and then the profession is student all right so now let's save this data and if i just reload this page we are going to see all the details of tahmid here okay so now it's time to add the table border so that it will look closer to this one and after that we are going to do the collapsing all right so let's go for it to add the table border we have to work on the head section of the html document so let's go for it we are going to take style which is a css thing here so we are going to, we are going to learn more about css in our coming video soon so let's do the style tag here and after that in between the style tag we have to enter the values for example oops this one should be removed okay so style tag started here and style tag in ended here all right so now let's take like let's select these things like we want to give the table borders to table table row table header table data so we are going to select each one here so let's put table comma then table row comma table header comma then table data so we have selected table table row table header all right so whatever they are available uh, or actually as many times as they are available here on our document they will be selected by this way so now let's give second bracket here and then we are going to provide border and then colon and then we have to provide like let's say one pixel solid sorry i should have one pixel solid and we want a color of black all right so let's close this thing here by using semicolon and now let's save this document okay and reload this page just take a look we have got some borders appearing here but if i just take you to the previous table here it is looking nice and clean but in this table we have got some let's say uh, duplication of the borders here so we have to remove these things and to remove them we have to hit enter and after that we are going to put let's say border and then as you can see here border collapse so let's click on it and then we have to provide collapse as the value all right now let's save this file reload this page just take a look it's looking cleaner here and looking uh, just identical to this one all right so it's time to add our caption here okay so we'll be able to know about the table what is the table about all right and to add a caption always we have to add a table caption right after the table tag of the html document so let's do this here is our table tag we have to hit enter here and then i'm going to put like angle bracket c a p t i o n and as you can see you are seeing a suggestion let's select this one so that you will have the starting and the closing tag of caption here so let's put the information whatever you want so as you can see here customers information so let's put customers information and then the colon 
now if I just save this document let's reload this page so no, not this one we have to go here let's reload this page and we are going to see customers information available here as well and the table is just identical to our previous one which was taken as example here so just take a look so that was the process of creating a professional looking clear html table for your website so i believe you have found this video helpful and if you did please give this video a like let me know your opinion by commenting below share this video to help your friends and if you are interested to learn about web designing html css javascript bootstrap things please subscribe to my channel and i hope to see you in the next video thank you very much for watching